G'day guys, um, I've got some, got some issues with this roof still leaking, I'll spend a bit of time um, doing it, but it's where, the, it's where the lap goes over the, over the top, where, they, where the two joins, uh, you know, the two sort of sheets meet, and it's still, it's still dripping, so I'm not sure if, if there's any uh, water engineers out there that can figure, it's, you know, it's got, probably got something to do with that water tension or something, it's sucking it over, which is annoying, so I've, I've just, you know, as you can see, I've put some things down you can see this is from that rain last night it's all it's all dripped in there um, it's a bad one over there up there so um, and the thing is it's dripping onto my new ceiling which is which is not good you know uh, it's already bubbled a little bit over there but it hasn't come all the way through so I've gone up onto the roof I've disconnected uh, or taken some some screws out so you can see so you see I'm in the right spot where I've where I've marked it there and I've taken those screws out and it, it just drips through there so it's going over there somehow like just a bit down from it so I'm going to go up on the roof now and um, just to see what is causing that because that's got to be fixed um, still very cloudy today but bits and pieces of rain so I'm just going to try to get up there and see if I can try to figure this out of why it's you know sucking over just I don't know I don't you know I don't get all this stuff I'm, I don't know everything so uh, any of you guys know how to why that happens uh, that'd be great so I've just taken a whole bunch of screws out and then replace those now I've got to wait for another downpour and see if that leaks again all right I'll be up on the roof in a sec so I'm up on the roof um, so here's the flue that's coming through so it's one joint second joint you see there's one joint from a second joint and just down a bit this is where it's sort of dripping over I can pull that up a bit you can see I oh know just see there See how it's a bit grey and, and dusty, so maybe the dust is pulling it up over and letting it drip down, you know. But it seems like I can't really, I don't know where it's, you know, it could be sucking up through there too. See how that's got that dust, dusty mark? It looks like the water maybe is getting sucked through there somehow, but I'm, I'm not sure how. Yeah, because I thought just when it rains, it would just come off that and run down, but, you know, I understand if it was full, it might suck it over and down, but... I don't know, it's sort of going up and then running all the way down here and then dripping off down the ceiling down here somewhere. So, you know, these screws, you know, they don't look, they look too bad. So I've, I'm going to put new ones in anyway. So I think I'll just pry it up like that, give it a good wipe, and then I'll put some silicon in between that and see if that can go all the way down. I've taken all the screws out all the way down, just try and see if that works. So other than that, I don't know, man, I'm a bit out of ideas. So... Anyway, I'll see how this goes. Okay, so I removed a bunch of screws next to the joint, um, and then what I've done is I've lifted that up, and there was a lot of dust under some sections, and you can see when it was overlapping, when I pulled it up, you could see dust and there'd be water, so I don't know how, but with that dust there, it must suck it up, suck the water up over that ridge, and you know, with the, um, that, that action just sort of you know, sucks it over for some reason, so. I'm not sure how it all works, but you could, you could actually see it where, you know, where the dust was. Now over there, I think they used to, I don't know if that's still the place where they do sandblasting. And so when I first bought it, there was heaps in the gutters and stuff like that. So that's gone up underneath those joints, you know, just that real fine dust. And then so every time it just sort of, you know, that venturi action or it just sort of sucks it up and, and over that, that siphoning or whatever. So I think that's it. Um, so I just removed the two screws, pulled it up, cleaned it all out with a rag. And then I've put a bead of silicate under there, put it back down, and then, as you can see, I've just rubbed, rubbed the excess joint over there, so all, all the way down, so to just get off that roof where my new ceiling is. So I've just got to see now if that, um, if that works. So I've been, been lucky with the rain today; it hasn't, uh, hasn't really poured down heaps, so it's let, allowed me to do the, do the stuff. Um, so anyway, I just got to wait and see. We've got to have a good downpour, and then I'll come back. Um, Usually you can come back at night, you know, if there's a massive downpour, usually pop in and uh, see if, you know, if, if everything's all right and I need to dry the ceiling. So hopefully that sorts it, but eventually I'd like to, you know, get a new roof eventually because uh, I can't have this all the time, but I'll have to wait till summer. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching, eh? Appreciate it. See ya.